and welcome to level five, day four. And today we're going to be looking at alternative ways to make the R sound. Now we already know R as in arm, and today we're going to be looking at R as in arm, R as in palm, and R as in father. And they look a little bit like this. R as in arm, R as in palm, R as in father. Very good. Now I've got some sentences for you to read today and some very special reading glasses. And they're extra big so I can check your extra big brains. Are you ready? I'm going to hold it up and I'd like you to pause the screen and have a go at reading this by yourself. Off you go. Down, everybody and let's see if we can spot those R sounds in the words before we read it. So we've got R as in palm, so R as in calm and we've got R as in palm and we've got and that's it in this one. So hopefully you've read it was a calm day and I sat under the palm tree and looked at the wonderful blue sky. That is a really lovely sentence. Maybe you could write a sentence like that at home. It was a calm day and I sat under the palm tree and looked at the wonderful blue sky. That sounds really lovely. Now, let's have a look at the next sentence which contains more of your R sounds. You've got R as in arm. And again, we've got R as in palm. And then you've got R as in father at the bottom. Now let's see if you can read this sentence. So you're gonna pause that. Well done. Now hopefully you read the smart farmer tells his calves, tells his calves, or oh, lets his calves, sorry, lets his calves graze in a big open field with lots of grass. That's a very sensible thing to do. The smart farmer lets his calves graze in a big open field with lots of grass. Well done everybody, that really is fantastic. Now keep up the hard work and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow.